Hey guys, and welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Thursday, and that means we're using Pendulum Chaos Dragon. So you pretty much get a double Daily Duels, two for one. This the special. Um, you, you pretty much get the 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 the, the Hunter Hambly deck. Oh my God! I, I need to stop watching Peanut Butter Game before I do these videos. Well, you get two. So you get uh, Peanut Butter. Why am I thinking Peanut Butter Gamer? You don't get Peanut Butter Gamer. You get. <laughs> what is wrong with me? You get the Thunder Family deck profile, and you get this, so, two for one, so, hopefully you guys will enjoy, I milled an E-Dragon, and then the frickin' mm, Astromancy, I wanted you! <laughs> ah, the struggle, the struggle is real, I wanted that, so I did fix around the deck, oh, we're going against Raldix, alright, I did fix around the deck. I uh, fixed around the extra deck. I actually changed it. I actually took out that uh, magician guy. Um, the uh, ch 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 I'm trying to think of his name. I took him out and I put in uh, odd eyes, regular odd eyes. And you're probably thinking like, "Oh, why'd you put in regular odd eyes?" And the reason why I put in regular odd eyes is because he has synergy with the deck oh, as well. You know, he's a dragon. He's dark, so I can do that. Um, he's seven. So, overall, he just has as much synergy as Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon as Odd Eyes Dragon. So, you know, I totally don't mind him, you know, joining the group. This guy's doing really well. Oh shit, he actually went for this guy. In the battle phase, when an opponent's monster effect is activated, you can detach one Ximitor from his card and gate. Card and flick 800 diamonds. Once per turn, you can send the top card of your opponent's deck to grab it. Yeah, I bet you won't be doing that. Oh, wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, he's a 27 beater. That's the problem. Actually, you know what? How strong you? Oh, I met another E Dragon? I guess I did. He's a 27 beater. That's the problem. That is totally the problem. But, oh my god, I just do that. Tend to. So, during either player's battle phase. Oh, okay. 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 We're gonna do it. We're gonna Pendulum. The, the Pendulum Shokan. The nice and powerful. It's time to do it. So everybody and their mother get summoned. And that can only go off during either player's battle phase, so... I don't have to worry about that going off. So we'll go ahead and, uh, let me see who else is in there. Oh, yeah. This is just... This is just going super duper well. I'm gonna have to move from play one of my dragons, so I'll probably move from play Tempest, and then I get to search, so we'll go with Tidal. I'm gonna play you two. Summon you. Just, 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 just go ham. Huh. Tempest didn't go off. Nah. Whatever. So, uh, we will go ahead and make uh, the 101 and eat him, definitely. Indefinitely. Oh my god. Pendulum Chaos Dragons just go stupid. Don't give a shit about your Leo. <laughs> like, this deck is going stupid right now. I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm f going full on retard right now. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not get me one of those? So, uh, I think that might be enough for game, but, you know. I really don't want to. I really don't feel like summoning him, and then I might go for something in main phase, too, with these two, uh, light pulsars. But for right now, let's get in all that damage. Did you see that? That fucking pendulum shit. Just got retarded with it. Yeah, that's game. <laughs> this deck, I swear to God, this deck is the best pendulum deck. <laughs> I'll get another dueling. Be right back. Alright, we're back again. So, I just got out of history class. My Pretty much my final history lesson, to tell you the truth. Who's going first? Me or you? You going first? Alright. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna miss that class. Class is actually pretty interesting. So, you can special summon this card from your hand by banishing two light monsters from your graveyard. You can summon it from your graveyard by sending to a lion like monster from your hand. Oh, okay. 
Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put him in the zone. Because that's where he wants to be, is in that zone. Because you can't... You can't activate this guy if you have a monster on the field, so I might as well put him in there now, and then when I get the blue magician, I'll play him, and then I can pen and summon despite having monsters on the field. So we're gonna go ahead and summon Crux Ivern, and I'm just gonna poke him. Bottomless, sure. Oh, you wanna waste a bottomless on Eclipse Ivern? Sure, sure. Go right ahead, sir. You think you're a full fucking boss? You don't think you should have saved the bottomless for when I pendulum summon? <laughs> Nope, just gonna throw it at Eclipse Riven right now. Alright. Cool. I don't mind. No. No. I no care. <laughs> oh my god. Get stupid with it. I swear to god. It's not fair. <laughs> Keep trying me. I've never gotten as lucky with freaking Pendulum Thunder Family as I've gotten with this deck. I swear to god I haven't. Alright, everybody get summoned. I swear to god I haven't. It's ridiculous. Alright, Odd Eyes, go ahead and handle his monster. Mirror Force. Whoo, you take that too. You take half your attack. Nice and powerful Odd Eyes Dragon. Not really. Seriously, you should have saved your bottomless. There's no reason why you should have threw your bottomless at me, but whatever. Oh my god, so, the history class, we got our, like I said, we had our final lesson. We didn't even get up to me, me, li me being born. That's, uh, like, we literally ended, like, right after Vietnam, not right after Vietnam, uh, pretty much Ronald Reagan being president. That, that was as far as we got, so, not even when I was alive. Dark Samar, alright. So in Charity is such a powerful card. Isn't that ultra rare? It's gonna be pretty expensive, because people are, people are gonna want to be running Sylvan, so. Oh, sure. Go ahead and put him to the graveyard, I don't care. Wish I would get a light sword so I can charge it up. Not a big fan of Sylvans. Crimson Blader, if you got it, it'd be a smart play. was a smart play. Like I care. Not really. Sure. I'll do the light sword. Sending all my E dragons and shit. Nice and powerful. Uh, get me Lila. So I can summon, turn to defense mode, pop that, make a 101, and eat him. Don't worry, I don't need to pendulum summon right now. I'm okay. So go ahead and activate you, turn to defense, destroy you. Because I want to make a 101. Oh, you want an MST. Alright, sure. So we'll go ahead and just make a 101. This guy has a lot of answers. A lot, lot, lot of answers. So I'm gonna go ahead and just eat you. You know how expensive this deck is gonna be? Like, really, really expensive. Ten I mean, not, not this deck. This deck. You're lucky I couldn't summon any level 7s or higher. You got lucky with that Crimson Blade. I would have beat you this turn. Next turn, you're in, you're in, you're in deep shit, though. Because I got some E-Dragons that are just ready to go. I got one E-Dragon that's ready to go. Well, I, got, I guess I got Redux, too. But I got some E-Dragons that are ready to go. And I would love to banish that Crimson Swipe. I mean, yeah, that Crimson Swipe. Okay. 
Tempest being played in, uh, in Sylvan's, okay. What you gonna revive? Fucking Soul Charge! Everybody and their mother has Soul Charge! I will, I, I mean, I refuse, I ref refuse to play that card. It's so stupid, it should be banned. It's broke. Doesn't say anything about the monsters being a f negate effects being negated or anything. It just says summon them. If I lose this duel because of Soul Charge, I'm gonna be pissed off. I swear to God, I am. Yay, Draco Sack. Mean it. You, your your effect should be you shouldn't get your effect. You shouldn't be able to special summon any other monsters. But there's no restriction on it. There's none. I mean, I'll probably still win this duel depending on how many dragons I got in the grave. Mean it. Look at this. This guy's going straight stupid right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can make a fucking scrap dragon. He's gonna make a scrap dragon, target his fucking mecha phantom beast, target my fucking 101, destroy it, or destroy my astromancy. Yeah, he's gonna make a fucking uh, scrap dragon. No, Stardust. Okay. I thought you were gonna make a freaking scrap dragon, but I guess not. Uh. Wish I had some more. I milled all three solar recharges? Okay, that sucks. Uh, you too. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, I should have this. Who the hell is trying to go off? Oh, you. No. Yeah, I should have this because I'm just gonna activate this, banish those two, summon that, make a guy charger, and run over the token. So I still got this. Token's looking nice and tasty, though. <laughs> Even fuck your soul charge. Fuck your fucking soul charge. Fuck you. I'm gonna get another door one. Bear back. Alright, we're back. So actually, I wanted to talk to you guys about you guys probably are heard, but finally a Ruby and Sapphire Pokemon remake? Finally? Like, wow, how long did it take to do that? Who's going? Me? Me? You want me? Me to go first? Oh, sure. I go first. I pendulum summon on you. Yes, yes. CC. Give me the fucking blue magician. Hell yeah. You better get your back row ready. Because I'm about to go balls deep. It's another pendulum summon. Every single duel. Pendulum summon. We're going against Gushkis. Who the fuck is that? I've never heard of that guy. Sure, I'll take 800. No back row. No back row. <laughs> Nick, I'm gonna pendulum summon the fuck out of myself. You're gonna die this turn. <laughs> I pendulum summon everybody. <laughs> like, are you shitting me, man? Are you shitting me? Whew! So doesn't he have an effect? Any battle damage your opponent takes from this card. From attacks of with this card and opponent's monster is doubled. Mmm. So, I'm pretty much just gonna kick your teeth in. How about that? Doubled. Attack. Game. <laughs> this deck is the best pendulum deck. I swear to god it is. Oh my god. I'm gonna get another duel in, guys. Bear back. Okay. Maybe this time I won't pendulum summon. Maybe this duel I won't pendulum summon. But lately, it's just been a lot of pendulum summoning. Who's going first? Me or you? You? Alright, go ahead. Glad that someone's realizing that 
the going the whole extra card thing's not really worth it. But I'll just summon equip Swarven. So I'll attack your uh your monster. I really don't care. Oh, Mecha Phantom Beast. Okay. Sure. Because you know how people like this deck. Setting another monster. Alright. Oh, we got a uh, Chronomancy. This guy is just taking it hella slow. Like, he doesn't want to do much of anything. So I'll just kill your two tokens. You don't need them anyway. I said, go ahead, get rid of my Quiz Five and send them to the grave. That's what I want. It's totally what I want. I can get all the effects and all the searching, all the summoning. Just say just period. Yeah, I might as well. I'm just gonna tribute him. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't care what happens to Dark Flare. That's what makes this deck so fucking good. I don't give a fuck about anything. <laughs> Guess how many fucks I give. You wanna mirror force me? Go right ahead. I don't care. Metal fucking Reflex Slime? Sure. And another Metal Reflex Slime. Alright, alright, alright. At least I know what your fucking back row is. Hell yeah, replay. Attack it. Oh, okay, it's just Shining Angel. I don't know why you didn't get your effect. Can you not summon any other monsters? Huh. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't know, nor do I don't care. You gonna exceed these two into like a, in like to a Gustav Max or something? That'd be cute. Double summon! Oh shit! This guy's about to go off! Oh shit! He's about to summon an Egyptian god. Oh shit! Clench that booty hole, cause here it comes. He's gonna summon it. Ah! Ah! He's gonna summon an Egyptian god! Oh my god! Obelisk! <laughs> Actually, Obelisk isn't that bad against me, because I can't target him. Oh, and I'm up on resources by a lot, too, so I gave an Exiton. Uh, target that targets. Uh, targets. Everything. Targets. Ooh, he might have it with Obelisk the Tormentor. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to get around that right now. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Yep, can't be targeted. Cannot be targeted by spells, traps, or monster effects. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. There is no way in living fuck I'm gonna be able to get around that. Nope. Nope. You're not strong enough. Nope. I can't summon you up up on resources. Nope. 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 Everything targets. Nah, nope, nope. <laughs> Everything targets. Yeah, no, and the ones who don't target aren't strong enough to run it over. Obelisk the Tormentor, I think, has has pretty much won him the duel. Him summoning Obelisk the Tormentor. It's cute. It's cute. Doesn't mean I can't pendulum summon, though! <laughs> throw everything in the kitchen sink at that ass! Like I said, Obelisk Tormentor is definitely the best. What are you gonna do? Tribute to monsters to destroy? Really? Wow, alright. So you're gonna tribute to monsters to destroy my Clips Riven? And you can attack this turn. Thank you for misclicking. Thank you very much. Come again. 
I mean, I can't get around that obelisk. Oh, are you telling me you wanted to make Super Dimensional Chocolate Fudge Covered? That would have been way better than me dealing with an obelisk right now. I'm, and you know what? Now I'm mad that you misclicked. I could have won this duel. I could have made a big guy and took your Chocolate Fudge. Oh my god. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna lose because this guy misclicked. That's funny. That's funny. Because there's no way in fuck I can get around an obelisk. Uh, you two? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like I said, this deck is awesome, just obelisk is a dick, so I'm not gonna be able to get around him. Like, there's no way in living fuck I'm gonna be able to get around him right now. I could pendulum summon. I could make a one on one. I could make a big eye. I can make a drug sorry, I can make a shit ton of shit. But I can't get around him. So ev everybody gets summoned but don't care. You get summoned. And you get summoned. And you get summoned. And you get summoned. Can't do anything with you, but get summoned. I can make big eyes and guy charges and Draco smacks and just everything. But I can't get over obelisk. It had to be Obelisk! It couldn't be any addition got uh, any Slifer I wouldn't give a fuck about. Raw I wouldn't give a fuck about. Obelisk is the strongest, clearly. Clearly he's the strongest. Cause I can't even I can't get over four thousand, nor can I target him. So he he is he is too powerful. I I admit defeat. I'm done. You win. <laughs> I pendulum summon, and if he didn't have obelisk, I would've beat that ass. Uh, you see, I would've beat that ass. Like look at that play. This play's awesome. I just couldn't get around Obelisk. <laughs> Uh, the struggle is real. <laughs> Everything targets. <laughs> Alright, but it was still fun. It was still fun. I pendulumed every duel. Every duel. That's awesome. This deck is definitely, definitely really good. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I didn't really get to talk about much of anything. Not there's much to talk about. Like I said, the new Ruby Sapphire remake. Finally. So, it's coming in November. It's on 3DS. I have one. I have a 3DS, and, you know, X and Y is getting kind of stale. I don't even play it anymore. So, they say it's a whole new adventure. So, you know, if it's a whole new region, and based off of Ruby and Sapphire, I'll play it. But if it's exactly like Ruby and Sapphire, I would definitely not get it. Like, how many times have I played Ruby and Sapphire? Including hacks that were based off of Ruby and Sapphire. For goodness sakes, I'm playing Pokemon Topaz, which is a hack of Ruby and Sapphire. So, I played it. At least. Ruby and Sapphire, I played them both. And Emerald. And I played... I think Quartz was a hack of Ruby and Sapphire, and, and, uh, I want to say, uh, Battlefire and Topaz, so I've at least played the game at least six, seven times, over and over and over again, so, like I said, if it's exactly the same, I probably won't pick it up, but, you know, if it's a whole new region or something, or it's something different, then, yeah, I'll try it. Got nothing better to do on my 3DS. That's pretty much it. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed Pendulum Chaos Dragons. Tell me. This deck is the best. I, I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear Pentum Scraps. Fuck that deck. This deck is the deck. Look at this. Look at this. If Obelisk was on the field, look at this field. Look at this field. Look at the. Look at this field. Why did I even summon him? I didn't even need to summon him. I didn't even need to summon him. That's how funny it is. I could have summoned him. Then I could have made him two Draco Smacks or a big guy Draco. Smacks. Like, you can't eat him. You can't eat him. This deck is too powerful. Can't handle Obelisk, but it's too powerful. It's really good. I'm glad that we decided to switch to this deck for um, for um, for daily duels. The regular Odd Eyes is doing well. It's doing well. It's, like I said, it has synergy. It's a level seven dragon. It's dark. It's been putting in that work. So I appreciate. It. It's a 25 beater. So when I pendulum summon, I got another 25 beater. So yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and call episode. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow, striving with Stanzi using Quarkumeros. Thanks for watching.